Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Welcome to the shrine of St. John Bosco the Dreamer. Together with our personal intentions, we also include the following. For the gift of life and birthday intentions of Justin Daniel, Nash Emmanuel, Rad, Kenneth Ray, Fiel Ocampo, Kenneth Roy, Baldwin, Keith Andre, and of Jeremy Bulan. For peaceful and successful mediation on November 4, 2022. Thanksgiving for the 90th birthday of Shari Juizan. For the healing, recovery, and good health of Sabina, Kathy, Vising, Estrelia, and of Hannah Margaret. For the intentions of Rosa Leale, Leo Carmona, Joseph, Marjun Castro, Kyle Angelo Malio, Brian, Ace Rolio, Rodel Cabil. Angelo Tranca, and of Ryan Apura. For the eternal repose of the souls of Cesar Sr., Cherry, Alberto, Felix, Stephen, Raul, Samson, Dominador, Antonio Quijano Sr., Felisa Quijano, Lidovino Quijano, Rizalino Holganza Sr., Lolita Holganza, Primo Guijillok, Virginia Guijillok, Eileen Omale, and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory, especially those who died in war, from natural calamities, and of COVID-19. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Today we are gathered as a community to praise and thank the Lord 
especially for the gift of life and good health. We pray for our brothers and sisters, especially those who are suffering from violence and natural calamities, for those who are sick and those who have gone ahead of us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, look with compassion on our affliction and so lighten your children's burden and confirm their faith that they may always trust without hesitation in your fatherly providence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of his wife. Just as Christ is head of the church, he himself is the savior of the body, as the church is subordinate to Christ. So wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church, and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes it and cherishes it. Even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the church. In any case, each one of you should love his wife as himself, and the wife should respect her husband. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Please all stand. Hallelujah, 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 purihin ang Diyos, hallelujah, purihin ang Diyos, The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that the woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, our readings today speak about relationships and analogies. In the first reading, St. Paul speaks to the Ephesians using the analogy of the relationship between husband and wife to show how Christ acts towards the church and the church towards Christ. Be subordinate, be submissive to one another, out of reverence for Christ. Marital relationship is being compared to the love that bonds Jesus to the church and the church to Jesus Christ. In the gospel, Jesus likens the kingdom of God to something which starts out small, yet grows into something large and gives benefit to many. The kingdom of God, according to Jesus, is like a seed which grows into a plant and which provides a home and protection for the birds. And the kingdom of God is also likened to the yeast which causes a loaf of bread dough to rise. The Word of God on this Tuesday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time presents to us that God is inviting us to a relationship with Him personally, and as a community, as a people. Each day in every celebration of the Eucharist, our Lord invites us and prepares the banquet for us in order to nourish the relationship that we already have with Him. And as His people, He strengthens us through the sacraments in moments of difficulties and trials. And the Lord leads all of us to growth and maturity so that we too will be the ones to invite our fellow men and women who have been lost and could not find their way, 
who have been marginalized and put aside, and those who have grown weary because of life's challenges. We are to be men and women in good relationship with God in order to create harmonious and peaceful relationships today, starting in our own families and communities. Let us pray in this Eucharist today that as we encounter Jesus in a more intimate and special way, we become more aware of His active presence the whole day through. May we be good Christians and upright citizens, able to create harmonious relationships wherever we find ourselves in. Through this, we let the kingdom of God grow more and more each day. To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? From a seed to a large bush, and with yeast, which causes a loaf of bread dough to rise. Like a great tree with flourishing branches, or like a seed quietly growing, so the kingdom of God spreads. We make our prayers together as our share in that loving plan of divine providence. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Our prayer. That the church may continue to grow by welcoming and redeeming human cultures and values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those involved in economic development programs may support farmers and may those who develop the land protect and respect the natural environment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and may be strengthened through, the, through our care and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word, so that you may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we confidently bring before you, and turn, we pray, the bitterness of the sorrow we bear into a sweet and fragrant sacrifice before you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ, that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in his body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the help of Christians, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. John Bosco, St. Dominic Savio, St. Francis de Sales, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Spiritual communion. O Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Amen.
Let us pray. We humbly entreat you, Lord, that nourished and fortified by this divine banquet, we may have strength to face future trials with fortitude and to lend more generous help to our brothers and sisters in time of trouble. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.